Good afternoon, SCC family. Um, I just did a call out to our church, and I wanted to extend that same invitation to those who aren't on our call out system, as well as to Christian and brothers and sisters who follow us from all over the world. Um, we are in a time right now of crisis within our nations. I mean, the entire world is going through this in a way in which we have not seen in our lifetime. So I want to encourage you all with the message that I sent out uh, to the church this afternoon. We are asking today to encourage you in the Lord that throughout Scripture we see God's people coming together in times of trouble to petition the Lord by fasting and praying. Would you consider joining us from 6.30 this evening until 6.30 tomorrow evening in a fast to come before the Lord? We are asking for everyone to unplug from television, social media, and other forms of entertainment to fast from eating at least one meal, or if you must eat for health reasons, from something that you can offer up to the Lord for one day, and then to focus on God, His Word, and fellowship with your family. We will continue to offer our Sunday morning Bible studies, service, and our Sunday evening Sundays for those who choose to gather, and for those who cannot. We will be live streaming Sunday morning through John 17, and Sunday evening through Acts 6. Take this time to talk about it with your families and engage in the Lord with them through the scriptures. We encourage you to participate in the Lord's Supper as you would in Sunday service if you're unable to make it, with grape juice and unleavened bread or crackers as the Lord allows you. Let me leave you with this encouragement from the Lord in 2 Chronicles 7, 12-6. Then the Lord appeared to Solomon at night and said to him, I have heard your prayer and have chosen this place for myself as a temple of sacrifice. If I close the sky so there is no rain, or if I command the grasshopper or locust to consume the land, or if I send pestilence on my people and my people who are called by my name humble themselves, pray and seek my face and turn from their evil ways, then I will hear from heaven. Forgive their sin and heal their land. My eyes will now be open and my ears attentive to prayer from this place. And I have now chosen and consecrated this temple so that my name may be there forever. My eyes and my heart will be there at all times. And I want to encourage you that the New Testament tells us that we are the temple that God is building up. And so the Lord is with you at all times. So what will happen in your life if you will humble yourself and join with us and partner with us in prayer? Church, we're not asking this um, on a whim or a fancy. This is after much prayer and deliberation. The elders and I have talked about it. Um, and, and, you know, this is something that I'm believing that the Lord is calling us to do. So I want to ask you, wherever you're at, no matter what the distance from us, take time, unplug tonight at 630 from social media, from TV and news and everything else. Unplug and spend some time in the Word and spend some time with your family discussing God and, and getting closer to Him. If you can't fast from eating, find something that you can sacrifice to the Lord because I know there are health concerns. And let's allow the Lord to just move through us. Let this be a time when we're in isolation from one another to to, to gather together as one, even though we're separate, and petition the Lord together as one, to come before Him as one, and seek His will for our lives. And I guarantee you, no matter what, you will find that you are close to God. James says if we draw near to God, He will draw near to us. And so I want to encourage you, draw near to the Lord during this time. We're praying for you, God bless you, and may He keep you in His victorious, righteous right hand.